not the way to start a comedy. With an execution? That's just basic dramatic writing. Don't start with beheadings. Audiences don't want plays about terror and death. No. They want hope. Yes, I have to write about grace and power in the face of crisis. Artistic defiance. Yes, that's it. Okay, so what if I write a play that is the voice of this revolution? But not the hyperbolic, angry, yelling kind. I will write the wise and witty kind that satirizes and inspires and says to the held breath of a rapt audience, something profound. So, yeah, we are going to have to cut the guillotine. Cut that thing. Serves it right. Oh my god, Gideon! I know this is crazy to just show up like this, but hello and surprise. Hello and surprise! Oh my god, for a second, I thought you were the National Guard. Are they coming after the writers already? Only the important ones. I should be fine. Come in, come in. What are you doing here? Many things, including, I hope, staying with you. Is that okay? Of course. Oh my god, stay as long as you need. Thank you, thank don't, you. Don't thank me. I'm so glad to see you. I thought you went back to the Caribbean. Vincent went back. I stayed in Nice. Ooh, Nice is nice. For some. For me, a lot less beach and a lot more political reconnaissance. What does that mean? Gathering intelligence to send back home. That's why I'm back. Things are heating up and we need an eye in Paris and I'm in it. So wait, I've been restarting the same play for a month while you became a damn spy? I mean... Girl! I know! Look at you! Well, we decided we needed our own intel. Really tap into the political machines or we'll never figure out how to break them. You are my spy firm. God, you make me so much more interesting. Well, don't get too comfortable. I'm also here because I need you. Playwrights love hearing that. It's so rare. I need you to write for us. Pamphlets, articles, treaties about slavery. Monologues. Abolition human interest stories. But as monologues? Just, sure, help us. You're the best writer I know. How many do you know? So many. And you can help people understand what we're fighting for. Freedom, justice, humanity, come on. Of course I'll help, but why don't you write this? Because I'm a better spy than I am writer. Please? Yes, I'll write anything you want. As soon as I finish my play. The play you can't even start? I'm rebelling against slavery and you're battling writer's block. I'm not blocked. I'm just mentally hibernating. There's a lot of pressure to write something profound these days. And then I keep thinking if I come up with a good title, it'll get me started. Something tantalizing, but really vague, like the revolutionists. You could do better. I know. Nothing's working. There is drama everywhere you look these days. Why can't I write any of it? You can. Pamphlets, for me. Write the truth that needs writing. But that's your truth, which I will totally write. I will. But I also really need something of my own. I need a play that's good and important and annoyingly prescient. Then write the truth of an artist staring down a civil war. And end up with a play about a playwright writing a play? Yeah, I'd rather watch a guillotine. So would everyone. Would they? Damn it. Back to guillotines. That's not what I meant. Seven. Now, Paris, France, 1793. Guillotines are very big these days. Actually, they just came out with small ones, too, for kids to kill mice and for wives to make salads. That's so messed up. It is. Everything is. Which is why the People's Revolution has risen up with force enough to remove the king from power. And from his own head. Exactly. Danger, unrest, an epic battle for freedom and peace. For white men. Exactly. Which is why my play could be about women showing the boys how revolutions are done. Yes, fighting for their rights to life, liberty, and divorce. Divorce and decapitation? I hope it's better than it sounds. It's comical, yet quite profound. Just doesn't sound like comedy. I know, but that's what it could be. You know it's all in the timing. Are you hearing all this rhyming? <gasps> Maybe I'm writing a musical. Oh god, no one wants a musical about the French Revolution. Probably right. How about 
about a solemn, bracing political expose? You're losing me. How about a thrilling, hilarious political expose that will gather us as one community to be inspired by great French art and... To boo out whichever new play they want. They did not boo my play. The abolition one from last year? No. That sound was just the natural, cathartic release from years of repressed racism and misogyny. So you're writing fantasy now? The people leapt to their feet. And to the exit. To tell their friends. But it was interesting. <sighs> my plays piss off just the right kind of people, thank you very much. Excuse me for trying to do something revolutionary during this revolution. This is our time to make a better world for everyone who sees my plays. You're always so close to selflessness. Thank you. See, now you've got me thinking. What about a passionate socio-political comedy about women's rights and- A feminist comedy? Girl, don't. Okay. What if my play starts out as a comedy, but it'll end as a drama? That's fresh, right? I mean, we don't even have a word for that, but- Like, right? Just go with me on this. At first, the play is witty and fun, maybe some puppets. Why do you always add puppets? Because! You might as well go back to the musical. Okay, I'm trying to do something important here. Which is maybe why it's sucking so bad. Sometimes conviction sucks. I'm just saying that no one wants to be told what to feel. I'm not telling them what to feel. I'm forcing them. That's what pamphlets do! Look, most people don't have time for the grand dramas. It's the intimate ones that matter. So, write your political theater, but remember that for most people, it's not about being righteous. It's about being real. So, find the heart, not the art. Why are you better at this than me? I've been trying to come up with a cute couplet like that for days, but I keep dreaming of guillotines and resorting to puppets. I have to write something. This is a revolution. Everyone is making history without me. Listen. I can't listen when I'm whining. You're just blocked. Writers get blocked. It's not a tragedy. Being ripped from your country, stuffed in the belly of a ship, carted across the world, and forced to break your back to make sugar for French pastries is a tragedy. The French are fighting a revolution for freedom while running a slave colony in the West. That's why I need you writing pamphlets, so we can expose the immoral and hypocritical actions Oh my god, I can write about you! Was not the point I was going for. Yes! You're gorgeous and empowered and seem to have a very clear character motivation. We're not going to stay friends if you write a play about me. Miriam Angele, activist for freedom from slaves in the Caribbean, lover of cheeses and universal human rights, strong and sardonically sympathetic. No, she said sardonically. Pamphlets! I am. I will. It will be great research for the play. What you're doing is bold and important. You're a damn spy for freedom. That's box office gold. Come on. You make me believe a better world is possible if people listen to you. And a lot of me. <laughs> okay. They say you write what you know, right? Well, why don't you write what you want? That's what we're fighting for, isn't it? Women's agency over their own lives? Yes. The abolition of slavery across the planet? Yes. You maybe you don't have to adjust your ideas in drama. You can write a monologue. Why don't you write a manifesto? Or a declaration. Sure, yeah, like the Americans. Like the Americans. We hold these truths and the fact that women are people to be self-evident. Sounds pretty revolutionary to me. Also, no risk of puppets. <laughs> Everybody wins. Vivian, do you dream of guillotines every night? No. Chains. Who's there? Who's there? Well, you're the one at the door. Who are you? Well, you're obviously at the door, too. And I'm here for a writer. Did she say a writer? I think that's what she said. Yes, it's what I said. I said a writer. I need a writer. Who's the writer and what's my line? Are you a writer? Not, are you a writer? This isn't a complicated question. Where do they keep the writers? I need a line. I'm sorry. You need a line? That's what I said. But I don't care what I'd say, I want to know what you'd say. Isn't that how this works? I need that to be how this works. And I need you to back the friends off. Who sent you? What do you want? I sent me, and I need some dialogue. That's what you do, right? You're that real-life lady writer guy. You write plays and stuff. 
and pamphlets about the rights of Caribbean slaves, which means she is very busy and we have no idea of who you are or whose side you're on, and you are very loud and immediately unsettling. So why don't we do this another time and or never? I don't have time for another time and or never. I have a guide to murder, which will land me on the scaffold, which is why I came to you, which is why, as I yelled upon arrival, I need a line. My actions will be talked about for centuries, and I don't want to sound like a dingbat. I need something that will sink into their memories for all time. Something with a lot of screw you in it. So, play right. Right. I mean, thank you for your enthusiasm, but this isn't really my Come thing. Come on. How many feminist playwrights do you think there are in Paris? One. You. And trust me that turning down an opportunity to tell someone what to say is really hard for me. But I'm already juggling a lot right now, and I... Aren't we all? Life, revolution, impossible beauty standards. Please. I'm trying to help a lot of people right now, without leaving my office. Please. It's rare to be in the company of like minds and like horses. And I know you're a writery kind of writer, so if you write it, I'll say it. I'll shout it. I'll sing it. Sing it? No. Yes. Can you just give me some context here? What exactly do you need written? Last words. Last words? Like for a toast? Are you going to a wedding? No. I'm going to kill Jean-Paul Murat by stabbing, because he's awful. Wait, you're going to kill the journalist Murat? Yeah, because he's awful. And by stabbing? Yeah, because he's awful. Okay, well, now I have to write a play about her. What about my pamphlets? What about a torrid romance between a gorgeous assassin and an arthropathic judge? No! What? No. I need one line. Not a whole and obviously terrible play. No, I'm really seeing this. A woman willing to risk it all for vigilante justice, yes. Shouldn't you maybe ask her why she's going to kill this guy before you make her a hero? I'm sure it's a good reason. Look at that face. Now, what if we call the play The Young Assassin? Mm. Mm. Or maybe just Stabbing, the musical. Oh, this is going to be great. Not anymore. Hold on. Is she quoting me? Are you quoting me? Fear people don't quote. They embellish. Which would normally just be annoying. But this city's a little bit more pissed off at the embellished. Or have you missed the last few beheadings? They don't like flourish. Theater isn't flourish, it's fundamental. Here she goes. Story is the heartbeat of humanity. And humanity can get really dark when the wrong stories are leading the people. I'm not here to make a story. I'm here to make history. History is a story. Just with an extra five. Stop. Hi, story. We said no puppets. So, I don't think I was being clear. I'm an assassin about to assassinate. And we'll get to that. But first, we need to work on some character development. I don't understand. It's all part of her creative process. I did not sign up for this because it's a new play. Oh, God. Set during the French Revolution. I do not have time for... Starring lots of furious women. I said I do not have time for such frivolity. I need some last words and I need to sharpen my knife. Yeah, I'd watch a play about her. Right? What if she wears a sparkly mask? I'm not wearing a mask. I want people to know I did it, just... How long do I have to sit through the stupid play until we get to the murdering? Well... The exposition, the rising action, it'll probably be a while. While we wait, you could tell us your name? Right. Hi. Charlotte Corday. Spot on Charlotte Corday, a soon-to-be killer in revolutionary France. Well, don't say it like that. Not in a you're a killer kind of way. Marat is a sick fundamentalist political pundit who has caused the deaths of thousands of innocent people with no tool as brave as a sword. No. He uses words. So really, I'm an editor. I wish I was that young and angry. Thank you. But you don't seem to realize that I'm on a deadline here. That is not a pun, but it could be. And I'm sure this performing art we're in the middle of is lovely, but not lovelier than justifiable homicide. And I'm not sure if this is the play or if we're still in the prologue. Because plays are for the rich and chandeliers, and I'm on a mission to maim. So if we're not actually 
actively avenging, can you get to the pointy point? It's not for rich people. Vader? I mean... But... I mean, the chandelier came with the space. So did the starving peasants outside. But... But... The revolution just opened the theaters to the masses. Playwrights can finally write what they want. Theater is democracy. Really pretty democracy with great hats and... Am I really writing for rich people? I mean... The ones who aren't fled or dead. Vigilante mobs always ruin the party. Isn't theater just another party? No, it's culture. Isn't culture just another party? Culture is civilization. It's definitive. It lasts. The French are really into it. And I write pamphlets, too, and we do a little community outreach, and oh god, you're right. Ooh, she never says that. But art is all I know how to do. Truly, I'm useless in the sunshine. Only theater gives my soul. Oh my god, is this going to be a play about a play? That is the worst. That is the worst. Art about rich people is one thing, but art about rich people's art? That's too far. Agreed. Now wait just a minute. The performing arts are a vital art part. Art and anything else that fakes its way through this world is useless to real human beings trying to fix it. Well, it might be fiction, but it's not fake. The beating hearts in front of you are real. The gathering of people, the time spent is real. Agreed. The story is real when it starts, and this story will capture our hearts. While the ring of terror takes our heads, which I saw them do, to a hundred of my neighbors in one day, because Murat told them to. This revolution is not for the people anymore. It's for the zealots. They are taking over and they are cruel. And you want to sit here and tell me a story? Do you see how insane that seems to a woman who is about to kill a man with her own hands? What your life is about doesn't matter. What your life is about does matter. Because sometimes, one man, every once in a while, really just needs to die. Forget the line. I'll do it myself. Are you in love with someone that doesn't love you back? No, why would you say that? No. No. I sense the short temper of the unrequited. Oh, that's what it is. I am not that. You theater people. You are so, so loose. I beg your... That's accurate. So many egos and tempers and on-stage heavily choreographed embraces. It's bound to spill over. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm gonna go. Show up, wait. The nuns are right. Theater is the devil's art. Because we get to decide who the heroes are. The clergy just hate that. And? Who are the real heroes? We are. If I'm writing it. Stay. Your story's in good hands here. I could stay for a sec. Great. Now, my question is about plot. Me too. You're just gonna walk up to him and stab him? I mean, just stab him. And because I'm seeing sequel potential, I'm worried about killing off our heroine so quickly. Agreed. No, I have to do this. I'm the only one with enough guts and cuteness to get away with it. So, I will curl my hair, strap a steak knife to my thigh, use the sweetness of my voice to infiltrate his house, stare him down, and kill Jean-Paul Marat with said steak knife in his bathtub. His bathtub? He lives there. Skin condition. Ew. No. It'll be great. Bloody. Intimate. The water swirling red. The nudity. It'll be so dramatic. Aha! Not like that. Drama wins! I said dramatic, not theatrical. All the world's an audience. All the world's a mob. Sometimes it's hard to tell the difference. You know what? Never mind. I shouldn't have come. Show what? No! No! The stories you trot out are distractions and placating the rich and full of bosom and yelling and terrible dialogue. Then why the hell are you here? You know that a good story, that a good story, a good deed is a good story or else it'll vanish like nothing ever happened. You know that or else you wouldn't have shown up. You also know that her words are dangerous. She's putting her life on the line. I am? To tell a story that is good and good for the world. My life? Is on the line? She is risking everything for her art. So be nice to the playwright, because she holds fiction like you hold that blade, and I know her weapon is sharper. 
Then a knife. Then any medal you've got. You tell me which one you want running the world. I'm sorry for all the yelling. Uh huh. And the aggressive entrance. Uh huh. It's just you two might have been the first women I've ever actually like liked. You're interesting in a human being kind of way. Thank you, young assassin. Such a good title. Do you mind if I hang here for a half an hour until my appointment? You could write my line while I practice my scary and stabby eyes. Also a good title. Wait, you have an appointment to kill Marat? Well, he doesn't know what it's for. But don't let me get in your way. I don't know how this whole drama thing works. What do you guys, like, do all day? Well, I guess I think up interesting characters with enormous backstories and lots to lose and force them into action. Marie enters! Is she late? Or lost? What are we talking about? Was it her? It's always her. Or was she being her again? It's a confusing time. Hello, Marie Antoinette. Holy crap, you're Marie Antoinette? Isn't it exciting I'm so famous? Infamous. Famous. Infamous. Wait, you're the real Marie Antoinette? I am so real. Sigh. Sometimes I say it instead of doing it. It used to be so good to be real. Or did they always hate her? Did she mention her general confusion about this? She has no idea what's coming next, except that one day she woke up in a palace and went to sleep in a prison. Not exactly a prison. It was one of their lesser bedrooms. With gunmen outside and no dessert! The fear in her children's fancy eyes, trying to explain it to the dogs. The pressure, the amount of sudden exposition. It's all too much for me. And everyone watching her. Is there anything I can do for you, Majesty? I'm not even a majesty anymore, the jerks. You're all citizens now. But who wants a citizen for a queen? That's ridiculous. I'm here for a rewrite. Oh, God. Yes, girl, I need some help. First step, make me majesty again. You're also one who wanted to toss the monarchy. It all goes back to him. Exactly. There can be real reform without torching centuries of history. Thank you. But come on, the royals aren't ready to change. No, thank you. You're not. You're dancing while Rome burns. First, it's Paris. Second, I had people dance for me. Third, we used to like me. The entire country would celebrate my birthday. When did it turn into all this rudeness and murder? There's your title. Title? What title? I have so many titles. Not that kind of title. A play title. For a play. A play play? Which play? I'll play. It's her play. She's writing it. Yes. A lot de gouge, your majesty. Young playwright, activist, you might have heard of my moving political drama. That's cute. No. I heard you're, only, you're the only lady playwright left in Paris. And you need to rewrite your history because it makes you look bad. Most of it does make me look bad. You're hilarious. Not on purpose. Which is still hilarious. You're pretty. And young. That must be fun. Where are you? An assassin. It is fun. And who's your funny friend? Marianne Angele. Not funny, not your friend, and we need to talk about the colonization in the Caribbean right now. Caribbean? Oh my god, I love you guys! Wait, are you a, like a real life, like a slave? No! I am a free woman. My husband and I came here to demand full and recognized civil and political equality. We want slavery abolished across the entire French Empire. I am yes, so important. You know, when I walked in here, I could have sworn you were my servant. I am a free woman of means like you, you, and you. I am no one's servant. I am just standing nearby. I like her so much. She knows. I like you so much. I know. And you, citizen, should know right now that the women and men of Saint Domingue who are dying in the sticky heat of your greed and oppression, the slaves that have suffered under your lash, have started a revolution of their own. Two revolutions? At once? Someone should have called ahead. It's the same revolution, the same rights, the same freedoms, just applied to your slaves instead of your peasants. I don't remember any of the other colonies acting this way. We know you need us. You people love our coffee and sugar and indigo. Indigo! For ribbons! So we have leverage. A country of our own and you get your coffee. Your coffee is amazing. amazing. Look, I wish there was something I could do to help. But, I mean, I couldn't even start a 
youth fitness program at the palace. And don't get me started on my rebranding ideas, which were good. I mean, what is a fleur-de-lis? A sad flower? A terrible fork? No one listens to me unless I say something stupid. Then it's the talk of the damn town. I feel your pain. Thank you. That was sarcasm. I realize that now. Wait. Wait. I got it. This is it. This is it. The queen can be in the play. Oh, hell no. My play? No. My play? A month, no. You were writing about revolution, not royalty. Now, wait. You said to write the intimate stories. That's what this would be. A woman at the edge of history with everything to lose and nowhere to hide. Can it be a musical? Under all that vanity, she's still just a person. Just a fabulous person. I mean, it's not her fault that she's queen. Can we please not call her that anymore? She is not my queen, and she shouldn't be yours. She bankrupt her country. I mean, we reduced a lot. She had a, the people had no food and she had a palace. So did the dogs, mini ones, hilarious. She is, she is everything wrong with a class of people so vacant hearted that they can't see the horror of their own luxury. Okay, look, I had no choice in becoming royalty. It was thrown at me. And by that, I mean a mountain of free stuff and undeserved compliments. What would you do? You'd take them, they're free. And just to be clear, I did not say that bit about the cake. That was out of context. I thought I was ordering lunch. Cake for lunch? Uh, all lunch comes with cake. And all cake comes with sugar, and all sugar comes from families dying in the drowning heat a world away. Figurehead or actual head, it's hers that should roll, not ours. Look, I know what most people think of me. It's not very nice. And I deserve most of it. But I have a feeling I might die sooner rather than later, but I would much like later to know that I was a real person who bled and gave birth in a room full of 200 people, so give me a little credit here. I just, I care. I care so much about my people and my country. I just need better press. You can do that for me, Madame de Mouget. I was hoping you would. I'd be honored to be in your play and to try to earn your respect, be a meaningful connection, and minor revisionism. I know I shouldn't, but I kind of like her. She is not worthy alone. She does not belong with us. She is not a revolutionist. Yeah, what would her declaration be? We hold these jewels to be self-evident? Well, they are. So shiny. Did you say declaration? Like the Americans? They do great declarations. I know Thomas Jefferson, if you need any advice, he'd like you. Actually, he'd like you. I, I feel like that should make me really mad. You need to leave. Wait, what if she could help us? Help us? Help us? No. Well, sometimes a revolution needs a woman's touch. Or, you know, stab, stab. It does need a woman's touch, but that is not a soft thing, Citizen Cake. Oh, I know it's not. Not at night. Not in secret, not when you're a tall, red-haired American diplomat in my country. Then it is a hard hand that knows your every weakness, is red and firm, and makes you sit and shuts you up, and you'd better listen to it or you're damn right there'll be a revolution. Yeah, I really she like is her. Kind of awesome. Question. Are there any snacks? I'm used to a lot of snacking. Sweets? Treats? Anything? Nothing? I have a mint. A mint? How darling. Merci, mademoiselle. Now, tell us about play, Madame de Bouget. Oh, um, well, I haven't really started writing anything just yet. Let but... the synopsis begin. Okay. Um, well, think of the power of a play that shows the entwined lives of women. Women who, through their differences, Join forces for test against the deep injustice of Ken. That is so Sometimes good things make a lot of noise. See music off. No. Okay. I don't exactly know what I'm writing just yet, but I know that our voices deserve the stage. We deserve to be our own heroes, everyone's heroes. We're all of us more alike than we are different. And if this revolution is what I think it is. This is our time to be known and heard and- Oh crap, I have to go kill a guy. Come on, that speech was getting good. You're killing a guy? 
Which one? Marat, in the bathtub, with a steak knife. Oh, kill him. I hate that man. He put my name on the list. With other people. Can you imagine? You know, my husband always said that Marat was a bloodlusty wacko. Then he chops my husband's head off. Shows how right he was. Sherlock, wait. What if you miss? What if he gets you first? Steak knife pretty much always beats naked guy in the back. And he deserves it, but you don't. We don't want to lose you. Don't do this. Then who will? The entire city is scared of him. Well, I'm not. That's right, girl. I got your back. Me, yeah? Me too, me too. Stop, stop, stop. Would you stop encouraging her? I'm trying to save her life because there is no doubt that she will die for this. And that does not scare me. Not for this. I am not afraid to die for this. What's that like? Like knowing your lines. Does she love someone who doesn't love her back? Yes, she That has her. nothing to do with... Is he your tutor? Is his name Jacques? I know these things. Charlotte just... No. Jacques knows what he did. I'm talking about Marat. The little assassination you're about to attempt. Have you really thought this through? Have you thought about Madame Guillotine? Well, yeah. Who hasn't? I hate that bitch. It's the efficiency that most offends me. Too quick. Too easy. They say it's egalitarian. Bullshit! It's cheap! I mean, take some care. We're not cattle. To them we are. Parting you through the city to your doom? In a wagon? No grandeur. Trash at you. They cut your hair. They cut my hair? Are you aware? No, that's not fair. Maybe it could be a musical. Just think about this. If you die, they could vilify you, call you witch, or make him a martyr. Then it's like Marat wins. Which is why you have to tell my story so they understand it. And do not let them cut my hair. But we didn't get your last your last line. It might take a while. A long while. Then I guess I'll have to go with May God have no pity, you motherfuckers. Hilarious! You could always sing. That's what I do. A song six. Song? That's not a bad idea. You said no musicals. What about the writer's last words? That must be a lot of pressure since that's kind of your thing. I don't need last words. I am of the theater. We just go on and on and on. But surely you must have thought about what you'd say. I don't know. I don't know. Well, I do hope my last words are sympathetic because I am still the queen of France no matter what those bastards say. And I will die royally. Do you have another minute? No. Shit. Shut up. We can find another way to stop Marat. A protest, a scathing farce. Thank you. But it's what you said. We're all in a play someone else is writing. Did I say that? And I'm certain that this is my cue. A word of advice. Aim high and strike deep. And tie back your hair. I know a little about stabbing. Shabbat, stop. Thank you, ladies. <laughs> Gotta go make some high story. Oh. Okay, this might actually be worth writing home about. You keep writing. You keep quiet. Enjoy your exit. to be spared. Uh-huh. When did it all turn so cruel? Did I do this? Be honest, you seem honest. Is this all because of me? Not exactly. But did I make it worse? I did, didn't I? Am I too pretty? Definitely too pretty. I thought so. Perhaps I should change my hair. Or maybe less bosom. <laughs> that would be a public service. Ugh. 
It's always the women who have to do the changing, isn't it? Well, what did you say? Oh, you know. Change this. Change that. Change your entire personality and allegiance. You know, I could tell you a few things I'd love to change, and they are not my last name. Now, for the play, would you like me with different hair? I'd like to do my part for the cause. I don't think I'm going to write a play anymore. Oh. I thought this was Act 1. It was. Then it wasn't. Then it was. Now it's not again. That makes sense. It does, actually. Because we don't write what we know. We write what we want. And you're right. We don't need to change. They need to change. I'm right. Sigh. Sometimes I say it instead of doing it. Yes. Miriam's right. I can't waste my time on a play. A declaration. For the rights of women. I can just take Thomas Paine's declaration and switch the gender. Oh, this is going to be great. I'm starting to think this might not be okay. I will not only write this declaration, I will declare this declaration. Wait. Theater and politics coming together. You thought we were separate? I will go to the National Assembly myself and stand up Hold and... On. You're going to the Assembly? In person? On purpose? Girl, they're awful. L l full of jackal bins, like frothy, mean extremists that killed my husband. They will not like this. What good is a declaration if everyone already agrees? Yeah, I'm really not seeing this ending well. It never ends well unless you write the ending yourself. If I have the right to die by their hand, I have the right to speak my mind. And I will. I, I mean... Sorry. I am doing this with the full knowledge that I will soon be in the quiet arms of Madame Guillotine. But, Jean-Paul Marat, by eight o'clock tonight, shall be dead. When will women ask ourselves, what has this revolution given us? And if the answer is nothing, when will we take it for ourselves? Until Marat is silenced, you, my friends, shall live in danger. So, I shall avenge us all. So, I now present to you this Declaration for Woman and the Female Citizen. Article 1. Woman is born free and lives equal to man. As the murderer Marat draws his final breath, there will at last be peace in France. You're welcome, Charlotte Corday. 